Okay. So, now some pathogens will also have their surfaces coated by coated by what the complements right like C 3 B and neutrophil has receptor for that too. So, these are like little teeth neutrophil has it has a tooth for complement C 3 B C 3 B these these chemical substances C 3 B I G G uh, the M B L mannose binding lectin these are called opsonizers or opsonins. What does that mean? Why are they called opsonins? Because they make opsonins, they make the pathogen delicious for neutrophil and macrophages to eat them. They sugar coat them literally. They coat them with the fun delicious things and the neutrophil and macrophages actually both they have receptors. So, we I just had written those receptors here. What are these receptors? So, C 3 B this receptor is going to be called C 1 Q. This receptor is called C 1 Q. M B L this receptor is sorry. So, this is C 1 Q which binds M B L. The complement binding receptors are complement receptor 1 and 3. Once again M B L receptor is C 1 Q and I G G receptor is F C. So, that is for the F C portion of the I G G F C gamma I R. So, these are various receptors and then of course, we have tall like receptors that is used directly by the neutrophil to recognize a pathogen. So, pathogen is being recognized in multiple ways. There is a direct recognition of the pattern of the pathogen of the surfaces of the pathogen by using tall like receptors 2 and 4 in conjunction with CD, CD 14. So, this is tall like receptor 2 and 4 with CD 14 very very important concept. Then there is indirect recognition there is opsonization what does that mean that these pathogen who was running around and happy and all of a sudden complement comes and sits on them and pathogen says oh oh I know what is happening to me. Then IgG comes and sits on the surface and pathogen says well I know what is happening and then Manon binding lectin comes and sits on the surface. So, pathogen is now all coated with fun proteins. Where are these proteins coming from? C 3 B is part of the complement and how is that activated? Remember we have a pathogen surface related complement activation. If not please remember we would be talking about it in, a, in our next lectures. As part of immunology we will cover the allergies and the complement activations and the pathologies of the immunology. So, C 3 B is one part of the complement system and that is available to coat the pathogen. Menon binding lectin where does that come from liver even complement proteins come from liver that is why if a person has a liver problem they can have the problem fighting infections. So, Menon binding lectin is also coming from the liver it binds on the surface of the pathogen luckily we do not have that pattern of, of the surface in our body. So, M B L does not bind on our cells it only binds on the surface of the pathogen sort of a recognizer for the for the pathogen. Similarly, immunoglobulin G that is after the activation of the acquired immune system and when that gets acquired and there are immunoglobulins released G gets attached here on the surface as well. So, indirect or opsonization or direct recognition all of those receptors internally will send a signal. So, once again second messenger systems they would send signal to the nucleus which actually is here these are the nuclear components of the lobes the message is going to go into the nucleus the nucleus is then going to start the process of phagocytosis right. So, let us let quickly see what phagocytosis is really that there are going to be projections as a result of the receptor engagement the local proteins would start changing the messages are coming from the nucleus and so the cell would start sending projections around the pathogen. Soon those projections would fuse on the other side and the pathogen 
has become engulfed in a little ball. It has become trapped in a ball. So frankly, when the pathogen is trapped in that ball and brought into the neutrophil, pathogen is very happy. Why? So let's see. So now we have a neutrophil, right? In that neutrophil, we have gotten a pathogen which is sitting here, right? He's kicking out his legs and he's having fun here. He is really, really happy. Why is he, why is this guy happy? Because he is protected, he's inside the neutrophil. He has a little tub of his own. He's bathing in there and he's having fun. And the and the and the material in here, the thing which are filled here, what is that? That is whatever got phagocytose from outside. Happy, happy pathogen. So he is happy in there and he is having fun and he is thinking, oh my God, I am in a five star hotel and I have been given this little jacuzzi in here. What it does not know is that this neutrophil, remember this is a really bad thing. It is keeping an eye on this thing. So this neutrophil with multi lobed nucleus is looking at this pathogen and what it is doing is that it has, remember we talked about it that neutrophil has three type of granules. So the very first type of granule, primary granule or azurophilic granule. Then it has secondary gra granule and tertiary granules. What it is going to do is it is going to bring that granule near and engage it. So if I make the granule here. What is this? This is the lysosomal granule coming from the neutrophil and it has gotten fused with the phagosome. What is phagosome? Phagosome is the granule or the vesicle in which the bacteria or the pathogen is trapped. That is phagosome. We have eaten it. Now we have attached to that lysosome. What would happen is from the lysosome the digestive enzymes are going to be poured into this tub, into this phagosome. So bacteria actually now feels even more happier. Why? Because he thinks, oh, I'm, going, I'm getting a little warm bubble soap, bubble bath. So he's even more happy. I'm being served. Here comes some bubbles and here comes some warm water and I'm all happy. But what it doesn't know is that these chemical substances, the soap which he thinks, the bubble bath which he thinks, that is going to come and kill the bacteria. So when the bacteria is going to raise himself above this bubble bath, he is going to find, so if I make that bacteria, when it is going to raise itself above, it is going to find that the remaining portion is gone. Where did that go? That got digested by these chemical substances. So at the end of the day, what's going to happen is that the bacteria is going to get dissolved, it's going to get broken up into pieces, and those pieces are going to be then digested. Right? So now, what does neutrophil has here? This seems pretty dangerous, right? So what does neutrophil have over here? So let's very quickly talk about that. Very important thing. This is your fundamental of inflammation and fundamental of innate immunity. Macrophage does similar things, this does it and many other cells. You do not know this, we are in trouble. And then this is going to become the final common pathway for understanding the, um, the inflammation and the immunity. Okay, so let us see how it works. First of all, neutrophil has a very important thing in the primary granules which is called myeloperoxide. Neutrophil can kill the bacteria by two pathways. One pathway is with the reactive oxygen species using oxygen and the other pathway is without oxygen by directly using digestive enzymes. So there are two mechanisms 
through which neutrophil can kill the bacteria. One is oxygen dependent and the other one is oxygen independent. So let us see how the oxygen dependent system works, very very important thing. So first thing neutrophil has an enzyme called NADPH oxidase, many other names as well NADPH oxidase what, what NADPH oxidase does I hope that you, you know the uh, hexose monophosphate shunt this is that uh, this NADPH oxidase is going to utilize that shunt and that process in there end of the day it is going to pick up two oxygens and convert them into superoxide superoxide so superoxide what is that superoxide pay attention superoxide is two oxygen molecules sitting next to each other so these are like twin monsters these are twin monsters with a very severe bite see this oxygen here this negative here the lonely oxygen electron in there that electron is going to attack not only the pathogen anything which comes in its way it is going to attack that and eat it up or destroy it actually these reactive oxygen species cause problem for us as well atherosclerosis is supposed to be due to the reactive oxygen species, species then aging phenomena in our body is also said to be using the ROS systems to age our cells. So it is a very dangerous mechanism which is done and oxygen these twin monsters superoxides are one thing which does it this uses the enzyme NADPH oxidase then if we have this monster available there is another enzyme which is called SOD or superoxide superoxide dismutase which will pick up these and hydrogens and convert this to H2O2 plus. So this say to H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide again this is this hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide is a very important reactive oxygen species and that is also used to digest the bacterial uh, components then now this is uh, this same process happens in macrophage as well the same process happens in macrophage as well but remember this thing the next step does not happen in macrophage next step does not happen in mac macrophage so the myeloperoxidase we talked about the primary granule containing myeloperoxidase if the neutrophil has myeloperoxidase then what it does is it picks up H2O2 and it some halogenating ion so let us say chloride it produces HOCl plus water or whatever is the remaining equation so this is another big monster so we have now three monsters we have this twin superoxide monster then we have this hydrogen with the twin monster this is the hydrogen peroxide two hydrogens and two of those and then we have hydrogen chloride or hypochlorite or bleach do you know that our body actually uses bleach to kill bacteria and but please remember do not try to drink or eat bleach to see if this can cause the bacteria to be killed bleach is the strongest antibiotic present within our body our body uses bleach as a final common pathway to kill bacteria. but please please do not try to take bleach as a, as a medicine bleach is used in a similar way to detoxify various surfaces and to clean things that, that is the same thing which is used here 